Hey, what's up guys? So, recently just got back from camping. It was literally like an hour ago when I got back. It's super stormy and rainy outside right now. Um, <laughs> we definitely have some things that we need to fix and like figure out for the actual big trip. Um, so it was good just taking those few days to kind of like iron out all the kinks and just figure out what we need to change and what we need to do to finish the van. Um, so right now I am hopping straight into the electrical. I got the electrical working, um, like I said, but just the 12 volt system. But yeah, so over here I've just laid out all the electrical stuff. I just got this in um, when I got back. It's a charge controller, so what it does, it takes the solar energy, alternator energy, and brings it over to the batteries. This is an inverter for 120 volt sockets. When I do wanna plug in those outlets, this is the thing that does it. And then over here is the stuff that confuses me the most, which is all the cords, breaker boxes and everything. Um, and I should have enough of everything, but I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm doing right now is feeding the alternator cables from up front back to the back. It is really storming outside right now, but uh, there's work to be done. Alright, so after literally months of researching electrical stuff and just now sitting down and really finalizing everything, I have my full electrical diagram with all the locations and everything up there. So right now I'm just going to start cutting some wires, crimping them together and getting it all ready to get mounted up onto there. So to start off, I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial on how to put lug connectors on wires. Very interesting stuff. <laughs> all this electrical stuff is actually super fun for me. Yeah, it's just like learning a new skill. So step one, get your wires. These wires are two gauge wires. They're super big. So I'm using these for the battery to battery connections. Um, you see a couple other different gauges of wire around here. This is eight. This is for the solar panels. Um, the wires I just did from the alternator are four gauge, I believe. Basically, you just need a couple things. You need a lug connector crimper, you need a hammer, you need heat shrink, some fuego, and then your lug connectors and wire. Step one is to strip this little stuff back. So these wires here, I'm just fitting for the battery, so I'm gonna get a length first. Length has been cut, now I just need to strip back about this much material of insulation. Next step is to take your wire, twist it a little bit, and then just stick it in the terminal, like that. Next step, take your little hammer crimper, put the wire in about in the middle, and schwack it. Give it a few hits just until there's no way that's gonna be coming out. And do that with the other side too. All right, after that, it's pretty simple. You just take some heat shrink, cut a few sections of it. That was a horrible cut. I'm gonna make a straighter one. Then just put the heat shrink over this. Get it pretty close to the front of the lug head. And then just heat it on and repeat. And now you have a wire ready to be connected to a terminal. So today what we're working on is the upper cabinet. So we have one upper cabinet here and then one that goes right over the door. So we have a lot of extra plywood from uh, just everything else we've been cutting. So we're gonna use that, build the cabinets and hopefully get them done today and cover the rest of this GoPro. <laughs> So what we've been doing is we tacked this up just with the nail gun. This is just the fascia. So this is what the cabinets are gonna look like. And then as you saw in the time-lapse, we spent the last probably 15, 20 minutes just getting a template out of cardboard of that section right there. So now what I'm doing 
is taking our template and just making four wood versions of it. So for the cabinets, we're doing this quarter and stuff on the back and we're basically like making a groove called a dado into these ends and then cutting the groove there and then putting the board in. So we cut all the pieces. These three are right in the middle, and then we have two end caps, so now we're just putting everything back together. So we're now putting in the countertop, which I'm using this butcher block. Just got it from Home Depot. It's birch, I think, uh, but it's a super nice wood, really thick. Um, it's gonna be a nice countertop. So we're just now cutting it to size. Hey, what's up guys? So it is the next morning, um, the cabinet, we pretty much finished. Um, I did a bunch of sanding and a little bit of trim work, but that's pretty much ready to be painted. But part of this whole van process, um, I, I just want to document sort of the highs and the lows of it. And honestly, last night, I was just super frustrated with everything. Me and my dad were out here working super late. It just kind of got overwhelming for me thinking of all the stuff that I still have to do for the van. The van looks like it's pretty far along, but there is still so much that I have to do. And on top of that, we're planning on leaving really soon. Like the goal was the 19th, it's now the 16th, I think. Um, so not gonna hit that deadline to get done, but I was expecting that to happen with the van. There's just so much that you need to do. I'm really close, but uh, yeah, I was just really frustrated last night. But I pretty much have everything I need to finish it out. It's just a matter of sitting down and getting it done. And as I've been building this van, I've been slacking on all the normal stuff that I do, the editing, um, the emailing, all the business side of running a videography business. So it kind of just all came to a head and I was just super frustrated last night. Nonetheless, we're rolling today. Finish that cabinet. Um, hopefully going to have that painted here soon. I think Nicole's going to come down later and paint that. She's way better at painting than me. I'm really horrible. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm going to build this secondary cabinet right there. That's gonna cover up that whole area. Also, this is kind of cool. We cut the butcher block and just set it in place and it looks freaking awesome. Um, it goes really well with all the handles and the white and everything. So really stoked to see this in. Um, it's a lot of space too to put stuff. Um, which is cool, but basically the next few days um, I'm gonna be just cutting the templates out for that um, Sink goes here and then also doing the slide out table So like I said, it seems like it's close to being done But there's still a million little things to do But what I'm gonna do right now is just start tinkering around more with the electrical All right, so there's two more things that I need to add for my electrical system one is a on off switch for my inverter and then the other one is the battery monitor so this is what's going to display the percentage of battery so i just held them up here traced it and now i'm going to take the multi-tool and just cut them out and hopefully not cut the wires wired up to these things So I've just been doing a bunch more electrical, just hooking stuff up. I wired the batteries in uh, in parallel, which means positive, positive, negative, ne negative to negative, and then wired in this shunt, which is essentially wired up to a battery monitor. So that's monitoring the level of the batteries. And then I uh, I ran out of cable, 
<laughs> so what I'm doing now is I am doing the alternator cables and just getting the lengths on those because I have a bunch of extra cord but I'm not sure the exact lengths so I am going to get those lengths just so I can then cut the cord and use it back there but it's pretty simple actually in the ProMasters to hook up the DC to DC charger the battery is actually right here which is super handy so I'm gonna pop this off and thread the cables right through here and on up to the terminals on the starter battery all right so here are the cables and where i rooted them i just went under this kind of foam piece and then they go back there i'm eventually going to tuck that all back in but cables are just sitting here and there's a perfect little root to go right through here up to the front so that's where i'm going to put it So I think with the terminals, I'm gonna go straight to that one. Just double up on there. Okay, cables have been rooted, all this stuff is back on. Now they're just hanging here, positive to positive. Negative is gonna be going over to the negative. So now in the back, I'm gonna hook them up to the charge controller. Cool guys, so it's been about well, probably a few hours. Um, I've definitely spent a better part of the day working on all of this, but I'm just gonna show you quickly what I'm working on now. So I have mounted this. I had to get it a little closer because the cables from the alternator just didn't quite reach. Um, so that is closer now. Um, and what I did was I wired the batteries together. I wired this shunt down to the negative bus bar, positive to the positive bus bar, this charge controller to the positive bus bar, this over to the fuse box. Um, and what this is is a, uh, a circuit breaker. I don't have enough wire or lugs. Um, so what I'm doing now is just kind of like putting everything together in a makeshift way that maybe won't hold in the long run But should ho hold enough to just test the system. So yeah, hopefully you can plug everything up and test it tonight and see what happens um, Like I said, I have no electrical experience at all um, I've just found a couple really good resources that have helped me a ton um, as far as wiring, but we will see um, How everything goes I'm like pretty close to turning everything on and I'm pretty nervous to be honest so uh, we'll see uh, we'll see how this goes but I'm just gonna keep wiring and shortly turn everything on okay so I'm at the stage where I think I can turn the batteries on I'm still actually pretty scared <laughs> not scared but just like I'm not really certain about well literally everything so um i guess the only thing to do is just flip it on and see what happens everything should be good i double checked all my connections and everything on my diagram so everything should be good opposed from like having to use a bit smaller gauge wire than um than i'm going to in the final product everything's pretty close to what it's going to be so i think i'm gonna flip it on and just see what happens hopefully it don't blow up literally have no idea what's gonna happen um it might work perfectly or it might not i'm gonna flip it on and see what we got so these renogy batteries have these um this mode where it can go into storage mode and how you take it out of that is with these blue buttons i'm just gonna do one at a time i'm going to just put these blue buttons in and then turn them on just like checking everything I'm one more time for the millionth time seeing what we're gonna get okay so that's on battery monitor is actually on too lights are working so far so good now that I've seen that system is working I'm gonna go up to the front and plug in the cables into the alternator all right, so I just plugged in the inverter as well, and it is on and working. So that's pretty much it for the electrical setup. Um, I wasn't able to hook up the alternator just yet because I don't have the proper bolt to put it in. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to go to the store, get that bolt, and the electrical system is pretty much done, which is like so huge for me. <laughs> it was definitely the thing I was worried about most with, the, with this build and just seeing it all right there working it's really freaking cool so i cannot tell you how relieved i am to be done with that 
Um, I'm gonna do a bunch of like cleanup work and make that look all pretty, but uh, all the hard part is pretty much done. So going into electrical, like I said, was definitely the scariest part of the build. Um, and honestly, up until I literally did it, it was just like such a big worry on my mind. I would say for anyone wanting to get into it yourself, it's definitely worth doing. Like I've just learned so much about electrical that I never would have in my life hadn't I done the electrical on my van. Um, and it's really cool. Like I walk into a building and I'm like thinking about the electricity kind of weird but um yeah i'm just like super stoked to have this done like i said it was very intimidating but uh like anything to learn all you have to do is just hop into it and you'll be able to figure it out so stick it out um i definitely would build your own system just because you have so many more options for what you can do with it but uh yeah definitely something that i'd recommend you do yourself